Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about the benefits for trading options. So, if you don't know who I am, my name is James Mason. I am one of the founders for Transparent Traders on Facebook. If you, if you haven't heard about us yet, look us up, check us out. I have a 40 video course that explains how I uh, momentum trade and that will be free for you if you want it. The video you are watching right now is lesson three for my options trading course. So let's go ahead and get into it. So what are the benefits for trading options? Well, with trading options, you can, you can actually have a realistic chance at making money with a small account. Now, granted, you do have to know how to trade. That is going to be a major key here. So take advantage of the Thinkorswim platform if, if you have access to it. Um, take advantage of their paper trading account and also their on-demand feature, which I'm going to show you using here in a second for the benefits. Um, just, a, you know, I'm going to take a trade and you can just see. So you actually have a realistic chance to have a small account and make money trading options a lot of people when they're just starting out trading they you know have a few hundred dollars and they usually use brokerage accounts like you know robin hood you know things like that and now i definitely don't recommend robin hood and there's just different reasons for it but if that's what you're working with hey that's what you're working with. So, you know, take advantage of it while you can and when you're able to, you know, if you want now, if you're able to move on to a better brokerage, that will give you more tools. So with options, you can trade amounts that you normally wouldn't be able to trade unless you just had a bunch of money. But if you were buying shares, you're going to have you're going to have to have so much money to buy so many shares for it to be profitable profitable with that trade moved in that direction for you but with options it gives you leverage now leverage can kill and what i mean by that is leverage if it if it works against you if you make a bad trade you know it, it gives that leverage to the downside but if you know how to trade and if you make a good trade, it gives you that great leverage to the upside. Another good thing that is a big benefit for trading options is you can actually short a lot of stuff as long as they have the ability you know, for options, depending on the stock. Unlike stocks that have you know, either hard to borrow shares or none to borrow and things like that because, you know, you have other fees that come into play and, and for it to be practical, you're going to need money to buy enough. So let's get into it. I'm going to actually take a small position just to show you guys what you can do with trading options. And we are going to move over to the on-demand feature on Thinkorswim. And let's, let's change the date here. All right, so this is June 2018, and I'm going to actually change it to the 22nd at 8.29 because I'm central time. And this, this will be one minute before the market opens. And I'm not necessarily going to do Apple. We will see. We're just gonna jump through here, see what's what. 
Now, all I'm going to take, let's just say I have $500 in my account. That's all I'm going to use to make a trade. So at best, I'll probably only be able to buy one contract. So let's see how this starts to open up. Now, just so you know, I didn't look ahead in this or anything like that. You know, so whatever happens here, which is, I mean, it's no big deal. It's definitely nothing impressive just because it's paper trading. Um, but I'm going to watch here a second. So whatever, this looks good. This looks good. And I'm going to buy, hold on a second. Yeah, I'm going to buy a put contract. So there's that. And because I have $500, I can only buy one at this strike price. So look down here. This trade is costing me $460. Well, let's see if it even fills. Oh, okay, there it goes. So, <clears throat> that actually filled at, you know, 4.55. So, there's 100 shares in each contract. And so, basically, that'd be 4.55 times 100. So, that trade cost me $455 and then whatever your commission fees would be. So, as you can see, I just took that trade and you know i'm just gonna since i bought one put contract i want to see this go down as much as possible in price and i'm actually just gonna go ahead and sell it right now just hold on a second Actually, not yet. So, I actually want to get a profit in this just so you guys can see. Okay, so I have a little bit of a spread right here. And like I said, that filled at 455. So, I need this to get over. 455 just so I can have a profit at that point so there we go it jumped up and I can sell right here and actually that's what I'll just do I'll just go ahead and sell right there and all right so I sold that cleared it out and just that trade right there that made $65 obviously again this is paper trading but I was just wanting to demonstrate that for you and you know I I, I hope you know that makes sense um, Obviously, before you just jump into this, you need to practice how to trade and definitely use these features if they are available for you. Um, you can, if you don't have a TD Ameritrade account, unless if they change stuff and lately they have been changing a lot of stuff, um, you can get a free paper trading account. So, as for the future, you may have to fund it with something. I'm not sure, but. I'm pretty sure as of right now, you have like 60 days 
to use the paper trading account and you know you can just practice on this before you actually start using my style or anything with real money um so yeah i mean you saw me i just took one trade and with five hundred dollars being my limit i just made sixty five dollars so if you just use your three day trades just space them out like use one day trade on monday another one on wednesday and one on friday every time monday wednesday or friday rolls around you will have one day trade available for that day and so if you just took five hundred dollars and of course you know we're talking in a perfect world of you not screwing up and this and that and other things but in a perfect world if you just use those day trades and spaced it out then you know think of think of how quick that you could build an account even just starting at five hundred dollars because right there I mean I just made a, a quick sixty five dollars and in literally two minutes so you can see the times right here I bought that at 8:31, and I sold right at 8:33. So in two minutes, I'm just made $65. Just demonstrating that with only just using $500 if that's what I had in my account. So if you just consecutively just use your day trades like that and made profits like that, you can see how quick that you can build an account to where you can start taking two contracts and then the process will speed up so let's look at shares real quick and you know this will just be really quick and I'll pretty much end the video on that but if if I wanted to control this right now like for 100 shares I mean here we go 100 shares if I click buy this pops up and we just bought it right here you know this is this is what it cost it's gonna cost twenty five thousand five hundred and thirty dollars just to control the same amount of shares <laughs> so the cost efficiency far outweighs just buying shares now Obviously, with buying shares, you can hold on to them forever, unless if you're shorting them. But you can hold on to shares forever, unlike contracts, options. Um, there is a time limit for options. So, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. I hope this helped you guys out. I hope this inspires some of you guys. You know, because I, I you know, I, there was a time when I was just starting out and you know starting out I'll be honest it it's tough I mean it really is it's tough especially you know when you don't have a lot of money to trade and you never want to trade money that you can't really afford to just throw away in the trash honestly so if you if you only had like five hundred dollars I'm not saying that you need to trade options, but what I'm saying is, is once you learn how to trade, then options could be you know, a great tool for you to actually build a small account. So appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video, and I will see you in the next one.